Today, I will be sharing a gameplay video featuring a crazy augment from the upcoming TFT set 12. In case you missed our video on another crazy upcoming augment in set 12, check out the link in the description below. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the gameplay. The game began with the Scuttle Puddle Portal. For the first augment selection, I picked Worth the Weight, which gives us a random one-cost unit and a copy of the same unit after every round. This augment is very random, but based on the unit we get, we can build our final comp. Currently, various rerolls are popular in PBE, making this augment helpful in those scenarios. But in this game, I did something different. The random one cost unit for me was Nomzi, a dragon and hunter. By pairing it with other dragon units, I could activate other traits like hunter and shapeshifter. I planned on playing this final board with shapeshifter being the primary tank. Early on, I equipped some tank items like even shroud and redemption on Elise. With a strong economy and a solid win streak, I moved to level 6. For the second augment, I picked lunch money. By the 3-3 round, I got my Nomzi 3 without any re-rolling. Moving to level 7, I activated the 4 shapeshifter synergy. With an early 1 cost 2 star, I was dominating the lobby. But my 9 win streak somehow came to an end against a sugarcraft opponent. For the third augment, I picked little buddies to get the most out of playing with Nomzi, a 1 cost unit. My opponents were becoming stronger, so I moved to level 9 and re-rolled for my desire units. I completed Nomsi's items with Renan's Hurricane, Giant Slayer, and Ginsu's Rage Blade. But my losing streak continued. By the 4-6 round, I got another 3-star Nomsi, which brought me back to winning. Soon after, I got a Smolder, helping me activate the 3-Dragon synergy. Unfortunately, I didn't have many item choices, so I equipped another Renan's and Rage Blade on my second 3-star Nomsi. Eventually, it won me a close encounter. By the 5-2 round, I moved to level 10. Upon Upon re-rolling, I two-starred my Nasus, Briar, and Smolder, allowing me to beat the Sugarcraft opponent comfortably this time. In case you missed our video on the tallest cake in TFT set 11, check out the link in the description. One of my opponents had activated 8 Witchcraft which stuns our board for 2 seconds at regular intervals. After an elimination, I made it into the top 3. I got another 3-star Nomzi, which allowed me to play 3 3-star three Nomzis on my board, which is super crazy. But the 8 Witchcraft was way too strong. It came down to the last 2 players, and I lost a very close encounter. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. Share your thoughts in the comments below. For more interesting TFT content, subscribe to our channel, Item Swap.